So we've looked at the poem in, in, in some detail. We've looked at the narrative and how he pulls away in the fourth stanza to ask a question, quite a philosophical question. How do we go from one thing to another? How do we go from coping to killing? At what stage does the hand become the wrist? At what stage does do we go from being able to deal with people to no longer being able to deal with them? Is there a moment or does it just happen over time? Does the hand become the wrist without us really knowing at what point one becomes the other? Look at the last stanza, because like, as in so many of Armitage's poetry, the poem is unlocked when we look at the last stanza. This is not general knowledge, except in gooseberry season, which reminds me, and at the table I have been known to raise an eyebrow, or scoop the sorbet into five equal portions for the hell of it. I mention this for a good reason. Well, if you suddenly scratch your head at the end of this and make a sort of uh sound, then I understand why, because it really is quite um, ambiguous, quite unclear, the ending of this poetry. There are moments in Armitage where we think this is very simple, and there are moments where we think that really is quite complicated. This is not general knowledge. What is not general knowledge? That he killed the man? I suppose so. You wouldn't want it to be general knowledge, would you? He seems to be sharing this with us as if he's divulging some confession. Is he, has he been discovered? I don't know. Does he want to be discovered? We just don't know. Who is he telling? Is he talking to himself? Is he talking to a confidant? We just don't know. But it's not general knowledge he doesn't want to be. Except in gooseberry season. Well, why is it general knowledge, not general knowledge, except in gooseberry season? Which reminds me, and at the table I have been known to raise an eyebrow. Notice how disjointed that is. This is not general knowledge, except in gooseberry season, which reminds me, and at the table I have been known to raise an eyebrow. We have to ask ourselves whether this man, the narrator, is, is in full possession of his sanity. And although we look at the man who arrives and think, my goodness, he's really pushing his luck here and his host is being very generous to allow him to stay. Any man who drowns someone in the bath, who goes through his pockets, dumps him and then is able to say, oh, which reminds me, it's not general knowledge. It's suggestive of someone who's not in full possession of his faculties. And I think what Armitage does here is he chops and changes and he bops around so that we think well hang on what's going on here and if we're confused it's because we're supposed to be confused because this man himself is confused maybe in his own mind and we we definitely see that in the last couple of sentences at the table I've been known to raise an eyebrow or scoop the sorbet into five equal portions for the hell of it did he somehow by scooping the um, sorbet into five equal portions reminding his family that there was another there was a fifth member for at some stage so maybe the family are all as mad as each other. I mention this for a good reason. Well, what is the reason that he mentions it? We don't know. So we end the poem thinking, well, why did you mention it? Why have you mentioned it? Why do you begin, which reminds me, dots around a bit? Why do you suddenly start talking about the hand becoming the wrist? And I think it's because Armitage presents a narrator who himself is not in full possession of his sanity. He's a man who clearly has significant problems and whose family maybe also have significant problems because they're quite prepared to murder. And not only are they quite prepared to murder, but they're prepared to remind themselves of this murder, remind themselves of this man's death through scooping out an extra portion of gooseberry fool. Gooseberries, remember, are a gooseberry is, 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 a, is an unwanted extra person in a relationship. And, and in many ways, this man was a gooseberry. He arrived, he wasn't wanted, and he was removed. But they still remind themselves of him by scooping out an extra portion um, of sorbet. All in all, rather a strange poem. <laughs>